welcome Susan. Can I hear a big clap over the live stream? Cannot, okay. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah, I heard the 90-day 90, 90 group that they were saying Merry Christmas because they are already in Matthew. But uh, for us, you are still, oh yeah, there, that was two weeks ago. But uh, for us, um, maybe three weeks ago, I, we were reading on uh, uh, Deuteronomy. And it struck me uh, that there's this chapter where the first, the middle, the last, and, uh, and interspersed between is always the word obedience. And I can't help but like the words obedience is like glowing, glowing with, with uh, uh, s giving me such, such, uh, it's very striking for me. And I had to write in our Bible reading group that there is a blessing in obedience. And the many times I ask for a blessing though, I pause and I should tell myself and should check myself if I have been obeying. And our word study before, Shema, means there's just this coin, and one is hearing and doing, and it is obeying. Nevertheless, God's grace is overwhelming. Praise the Lord. At times when I did not obey, and then I asked for a blessing, maybe God is saying, um, let me see, did you obey? Please, Lord, bless me, but did you obey? It gives me a recollection of my students. It's like first day of class. We give rules for them to be safe and to be protected. But if they don't stay within the bounds of the rules, they are hurting themselves. They will have stiff consequences. But then, again, God's grace. The opposite of blessing is, of course, true. It's curse. When you harm yourself, I think more often than not, this is self-inflicted. Even uh, during this time when there is a coronavirus, if we are sick and we go out, we did not obey. So the curse is you don't have a blessing of good health. So uh, staying outside of God's protection by not following his laws has drastic consequences. So, Lord, I pray that you will always remind me to be obedient. Thank you.